watching Local 2 News at 10. So maybe you've heard the name Uber, and by now you've probably heard about the controversy surrounding it. So with just a few weeks before the big city council vote, Local 2 Investigates is putting Uber to the test. Is it just as fast as a taxi? What about the cost? And what happens if an Uber driver gets into an accident? Tonight, investigator Jace Larson has all those answers. It's the trendy way to travel around town, the company with the foreign sounding name Uber, or the other one, Lyft, spelled with a Y. The companies let you order your car and pay with your smartphone, then minutes later, ta-da, an Uber or Lyft driver arrives in his or her own car. Right now, they're completely illegal. It's that everyday driver that worries Yellow Cab CEO Romain Martinez. Consumers who are using the cabs, or these illegal cabs, they're getting in them without knowing whether those drivers have been vetted with a, any kind of background checks. Uh, they don't know what kind of vehicle they're getting. Uber says it does background checks on every single Uber driver. As it stands now, Uber and Lyft aren't regulated by the city like cabs, but their popularity is surging. A big draw for Uber, it's cheaper. We took a taxi from the Galleria to downtown on a weekend. The cost, $30. The Uber trip back cost us $20. An Uber ride from West Heights to Bush Airport cost about $47. The return trip in a cab, 68 bucks. Some people out there are going to say, you just don't want competition. We've never shirked away from competition, you know, uh, as long as they don't skirt the law. As long as they don't skirt the law. These guys have skirted the law from the very beginning. He thinks cabs are at a disadvantage. They must charge the same rate all the time. Uber's prices can surge on holidays or special events. Cabs are inspected by the city. Uber drivers' cars are not. Taxi drivers get an FBI background check. Uber does its own background checks. Uber has claimed that it shouldn't have to follow the same rules because it's not a transportation company. No, no, the company says. It's a tech company putting a customer in touch with a business, just like some say the Yellow Pages. I think most people think of Uber and Lyft and these other companies as being uh, a quicker, easier alternative to a taxi cab. But in reality, it's very different. The company's terms and conditions say transportation could be potentially dangerous or unsafe and that you use the service at your own risk. Houston lawyer Amay Robert says Uber riders may have trouble if they're injured. If I get into an Uber car and get into an accident and I try to sue that driver's insurance company for relief from my injuries, that insurance company may say, sorry, but we're not paying this because this policy only covers this driver's personal use. Lately, Uber's been adding extra insurance hoping to fix that problem. But Robert yeah, says I that policy hasn't yet been tested right. in court. In Houston, Jace Larson, KPRC Local 2.